<clears throat> so what is a not for profit organization <clears throat> not for profit so obviously it is an entity which is formed without a profit motive it is an organization it is a separate it has a separate legal entity it is a separate accounting entity but it has been established with the purpose not for earning profits so let us say a few of us get together to start a library <clears throat> so we have 30 members 40 members who want to read good books who want to exchange books etc so why has the li uh, library been formed the library was formed so that it can have good reading experience for all its members what do the members do maybe the members bring in some money every month called something like a subscription <clears throat> so they subscribe maybe every year maybe every month whatever is the arrangement if this money the funds etc would be used to buy new books to maintain the library etc suppose it so happens that there are surplus funds this extra funds this is not distributed as profit because the very purpose of these very purpose of having the library the very purpose of this non profit organization was only to provide service to provide the facility of good reading to its members <clears throat> so profit is not distributed to the members because the members are not really owners they are members of a society who have come together for a specific purpose <clears throat> they are not trading entities we have discussed final accounts of trading entities in another module now we are discussing the final accounts of non trading entities you might ask why if they are a not for profit organization do we need to prepare final accounts yes we need to to have some control to understand who are the members what is the inflow of money how far we can grow what are the other areas <clears throat> maybe we can venture into should collections be increased see for example after a few of us get together and start a library it is possible we decide now that when a new member comes in let us have something like a life membership fee or an entrance fee etc so a initial amount is paid as a bigger deposit so that this can be used in order to fund the library or buy new books <clears throat> we always need to have control without accounting this control would be lost but what do we do by preparing the final accounts by finding out profit or loss as we said it is a not for profit organization so we do not even call it profit or loss we say we either have a surplus that is excess of income over expenditure or we have a deficit that is excess of expenditure over surplus <clears throat> our sources of income are usually in case of a not for profit organization subscription yearly monthly entrance fee when you join you pay the entrance fee once maybe donations <clears throat> many other interested societies corporates etc may give donations to the particular not for profit or organization if it is in their area of interest or there is grant maybe a government grant gives the government gives some subsidy gives a grant in order to run the library in order to run a public hospital in order to run a public school etc <clears throat> or we have what is called legacies where somebody by will in his will he has said that so much money so much fund or so much of his book so much of his collection etc would be handed over to this particular organization so these are the sources from which revenue is earned by a not for profit organization i repeat they are non trading entities they do not buy and sell to make profit profit is not their motive their motive is to provide service <clears throat>
And again, as discussed before, they do not have profit or loss. What they have is either a surplus, that is excess of income over expenditure or a deficit, which is an excess of expenditure over income. If they get a surplus, if they have a surplus, there is no concept of distribution of surplus. In a trading organization, when profits are made, these profits are distributed. In case of a company, they are distributed to the owners or shareholders in the form of dividend. If it is a partnership, they are distributed. The profits are distributed among the partners in their profit sharing ratio. In case of a sole proprietor, the profit which is made is retained by the proprietor and added to his capital. His capital increases. But in a not-for-profit organization, there is no capital and no dividend. No capital, no profit, no distribution of profit, therefore, therefore no dividend. <clears throat> What are some examples of not-for-profit organizations? They could be clubs, they be a sports club, a club where people meet, <clears throat> enjoy one another's company, interact, play games, etc. There could be educational institutions, maybe public schools, maybe public hospitals, charitable trusts, etc. Therefore, not-for-profit organization is a separate legal entity, it is a separate accounting entity, but it is created with no profit motive. It is not a trading entity, but <coughs> created to provide service to its members or to a certain section of the people, a certain community, etc. <coughs> Their common sources of income may be fees, may be subscription, may be donations, may be grants, etc. Expenses they would incur in order to run the particular organization. A not-for-profit organization also has a responsibility to prepare accounts and when these accounts are prepared, we do not talk of profit or loss. What are the results? We say it is either a surplus or a deficit. Surplus being excess of income over expenditure, deficit being excess of expenditure over surplus. Clubs, public schools, public hospitals, etc. would be examples of a non-for-profit organization.